Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. And if you're watching on YouTube and click the annotation, then we are now here on the fourth assignment military campaign, Syracuse. That's right, let's get this started. Syracuse is an important site for a new colony. A glance at the map will show you why. If we are to expand the empire much beyond the shores of Italia, we must control these waters. Others have reached the same conclusion. We have been unable to reliably establish a permanent city of any size at Syracuse. The challenge before you, and a serious challenge it is, is to found a new city and defend it against the enemies of Rome. Expect trouble from the Greeks. To make matters more interesting, shall we say, Syracuse has precious little farmland. Although the climate is ideal for olives, you will probably have to commit much of your farming to wheat just to feed your people. Perhaps you can alleviate food shortages with imports? I don't know. I have not studied all the small details of this assignment. That is why I hire governors. I do hope that you can grow at least some olives. The Empire has a voracious appetite for oil. Knowing the difficulties in this assignment, I have set only modest goals for you to achieve. I trust you to overcome the obstacles and succeed at least as well as you did last time. All right, welcome to Syracuse. I strengthen the Empire and uh, Caesar. Caesar's showing a little bit of sass right there. <laughs> anyway, the ratings, he says modest, but it's population 4,000 and 20, 20, 40, 25. The ratings are not too difficult. Population 4,000 might be a bit of a tricky to get to, but prosperity of 20 is actually quite low. So that will be relatively easy. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the city. Ah, here we go. So let's, let's go over the basics first. Let's go over the basics and... Uh, the music is not playing, so let's just go to sound, get the music on. There we go. Okay, so when I, when I was checking out this map, I like this, I like this. Uh, and also, um, let's check the map. Where are we? We are all the way down here, Syracuse. Uh, probably water trade routes. They will buy oil and vegetables. They sell timber and meat. We could also sell weapons if that's something we can produce. I think there's... that's all, right? That's all. Let's check our raw materials. Clay pit, iron mine. So we can produce weapons. That's going to be our main export then. Under farms, we have wheat, vegetables, and olives. Farmland is just down here. How do, how do we... How do we deal with that? How do we feed our people? Do we have... He did mention imports. They sell furniture. We could import meat, maybe? Ah, uh, well, well, we'll have to see, because that's all the farmland we have, so I guess we will just try that out as best as possible. Anyway, we are not repeating builds on this mission, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off some of this land here. I'm going to build a realistic city this time, a realistic city. Which means no blocks, no or things that would make sense in the real world. And you know how, you know how things look in the real world. Uh, <laughs> cities, especially old cities, do not look particularly like they make sense. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw random lines. Random line there, random line here. We're going to do random lines. And we'll just see what we come up with. This is going to be a challenge for me. This is going to be a challenge. But I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Have that line go there. This line can hook up back around there. We can have this go like that. That go like that. Look at that. A realistic city block. <laughs> I know some of you right now are screaming at how bad this is going to be. But I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. Uh, and also, uh, that doesn't look like... You know what? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's make it work. Look at that. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look brilliant. It'll be very pretty. Uh... <laughs> we'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. So let's just get things started generally. I need to have a house at every intersection. Uh, because as the walkers go around, we're gonna need them to have proper access to all of 
like that. So we're gonna put those houses down. So every intersection, uh, we're gonna need one back here, I guess. Every intersection will be covered by a house, so everything will have access to employment. I'll put that there. So we're gonna do that. And we're also gonna have to do a bit of a well maze on this one. Uh, ooh, this one actually has a little structure which I could take advantage of. If I block that, they'll have to walk around there at least, and then they'll have to come back down this way. And for this distance, it's not very far, so I think I will have to... Yeah, I will have to do one more loop for... This is for the immigration glitch, by the way. If you don't understand what I'm doing or why I'm doing a well maze, uh, watch the previous missions. We need to do this. It's sort of required. So let's do that. Hopefully the gift from Caesar in, when we run out of money will be good. Let's send this down this way. And we'll just make that a bit longer. So they have to walk around like that, walk up here, and that should do. So they're walking up the, around this way, then down this way, up that way. That should be long enough. Okay. Ah. Uh. I have walls, yeah, but walls are more expensive. Walls are 12, wells are 5. Wells are the cheapest thing I think you can put down that's a solid. And by solid I mean it will actually block, yeah. Walls are, uh, yeah, walls are 12, wells are 5. It's ugly, but they'll be going away soon enough. Okay, so look at this. I love I loved the design of this, this road I've done here. It looks great, I love it. It's exactly how an ancient Roman city would be laid out, maybe. I'm not, I'm not a historian, but it looks cool. Uh, and see, I'm gonna have like these little outcrops up to these little cliffs here. And in terms of defense, we only have to defend two points as long as we stay down there. <laughs> so besides that, we're gonna need to set up some sort of farmland. So I'm just gonna clear off all of this gonna leave some trees because I like the way they look but I'm gonna clear off everywhere that might be able to be farmable or arable land you could say clear off all of that we'll see how many farms we can get and we're gonna need like maybe a couple houses there a couple houses down here just to get things going farms wheat What's the arrangement we can do here? The absolute corner is there. Oh, there's some farmland there. Did you see that little tuft of grass right there? Look at that. Thought it could hide from me. <laughs> there's a little tuft of grass right there. You can fit two farms over there. That might be a cool spot for the olives, but I'm gonna have this do this and this is gonna come out one, two, three. And that road's gonna go that way. So we're gonna have this prefecture and engineer's post right there. And we're gonna break this road connection there. Can I put a gatehouse right here? It would make sense to sort of defend the farmland, right? If I actually wall up this side, because invasions aren't going to come from here. This is the road to Rome. So if invasions come, they'll come from this side or they might come from this side over on here. So if I actually build a wall here, it does make functional sense. And how's the... Oh, they're going around this way? Uh, that's not... It's not the way I want you to go, really. Everyone turn around. <laughs> I wanted to go that way. I built that for a reason. Okay. They were coming around this way, look at that. Uh, <laughs> you guys calling that out? They're skipping the maze, they're not, not on my watch, not on my watch. Okay, so this is gonna be set up roughly correctly, but we're gonna need to have like prefectures all over the place. How do we wanna do this? Prefectures at the ends of roads? We're gonna need a good amount of them. That should protect things, and then they're gonna have engineer's posts to go along with them. Uh, 
I just need to make sure that this is going to actually stand. <laughs> I need to make sure it does actually stand. Now, a granary is probably going to go very close to this side. Besides that, we need to set up uh, some sort of industry. Oh, look, there's some tufts of farmland here. There's actually quite a bit of farmland, but you got to look around for it. It's it's. So I could actually have like the since I got a couple houses here. How how is this farmland look? That's like another two, three farms. We can have farms right up to the edge of the map there. If I clear that off. There we go. I just need to make sure I can fully utilize all my farmland. Okay. Yeah, we can actually get tons of farms. We just need to have like a granary somewhere in there. Uh, a few granaries in here set to getting so that they can, can come down this way to go and get. Okay. So that means there will eventually be a road coming out that way. That's fine. They're all gonna turn around now. Some guys are coming over this side. That's okay. Okay, okay. So I think that's a pretty decent setup. But I will need like a prefecture and engineer's post right here to watch this road, which will be the iron mines and weapons workshops, I think. The road will sort of snake through the farmland out this side. If we want towers, the barracks can be down here. Okay, okay, it's working, it's working. <laughs> we can speed things up and let people move in. All right, here they come. They're gonna do the gauntlet of the maze. And I suppose we could just sort of push forward to as much population as we like. We're gonna cover down this side all right, no problem. So then we can just continue to put down houses, right? Like, we could just have this to be a big row of houses. We can extend the houses around. We'll try and go straight for 300 people. Oh, before I do this, I need to get a reservoir over this side. So a dock can go there. So we'll try not to... Ooh. This is going to be a little tricky, but I guess we can have a reservoir here. And watch this magic trick. Click and drag, and you get an aqueduct. Up to there is probably good. <laughs> Click and drag, the, the biggest secret of Caesar 3. And we'll see what water access that gives us. Water. So we can put down some fountains here. So I'm going to try and keep the fountains in a way that makes some kind of sense. Can have a fountain there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Functional yet aesthetically pleasing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, right there should be fine. All right. So that'll get those houses down. We could have houses sort of come around like that. That makes some kind of sense. We can have houses here. Those will all have water access. We, ne we need to make sure the houses aren't too close to each other, by the way. And also, uh, water services one, prefectures two, engineering three. Okay. Are these gonna burn down? We might have the farms burn down, by the way. <laughs> we might have the farms burn down. But it's okay. All right, let's get people moving in. These sheep are just everywhere. Ugh. Is our first house down? Population one. Oh, there we go. The first house. One occupant. There we go. That's the first house of the city. Remember that for the end of this mission because it's going to look amazing comparatively. Uh, how much does aqueducts cost? Eight. Still more expensive than wells. All right, so we're getting all these people in. We're gonna have a row of houses there. See how this makes sense, like it's a real city? <laughs> Meanwhile, I need to figure out how to get 
a reservoir down here. So, if I were to put a reservoir like this... So all the reservoirs will be on the lowland. And I want this to be perfectly straight. You know what? It'll be easier if I just build the aqueduct. Aqueduct. This will actually extend the, the maze as well, because I'll have to walk down into that road. Well, a little bit. And this will go all the way up to the coast, where we can have our reservoir. Providing water access to this side. Come on, give me the... Demolished? Why? Why was that blocking? Oh, there's a... No, there's a tree right there. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize that one tree was in the way. There we go. Now they can pass. There we go. Water. Fountains. So we can have... One, two, three, four. Fountain there. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Fountain... There. And we can have a fountain... Here. Evolving these houses. Fantastic. Why did it demolish this? Oh, come on. I hate it when it demolishes things and it demolishes way too much. All it had to do is break one tile. But no, it breaks a whole bunch of tiles. <laughs> oh. The immigrants are coming down this way. Fantastic. So you're moving in there. If you move in here, then we can start our uh, industries. Actually, if we want to export weapons... We'll need it more, like, closer to... Oh, it's not comfortable, is it? Well, population's coming in okay. The maze seems to be working. These guys, I don't know where they're going. If I put the iron and weapons industry down this side, this is... It's definitely a water trade route. They buy weapons. Only one shield, though. But we need a source of income. If I build it here, it's so far away from the coast, it's going to be terrible. Oh! Weapons industry over there? That could make sense. That could make sense. Weapons industry on that side of the river. Huh. There's plenty of flat coast. I could very much have a ship bridge. Because if I produce the weapons here, to sell them, they'd have to be shipped to the coast, right? But just to be sure, just to be sure, I'm just gonna open the trade route. Make sure it's not a land trade route. It is a sea route, okay. Definitely. Uh huh, okay, no problem. People moving in, all right. So I'm gonna clear off this. We could mine up here, we could mine up here. There's not enough space, there's plenty of space. There's plenty of space. I mean, I could do it on this island if I so wanted to. There's plenty of space, look at that. They only buy one shield. We don't need to produce that many. So let's clear that off. And... I might as well go for a ship bridge straight away, right? The shortest connection would be here. Uh, one, two, three... Oh no, that's the shortest connection. But that's not traversable. Okay. So I'm gonna have this connection. It's gonna send us into debt. But we'll get some stuff from Caesar. Hmm. Plenty of money. Plenty of money. Look at that. And then we just need a road coming out. Like this. Coming along like that. 
and I'll be coming along like this and like that. Clear off some of those trees. We're gonna need a couple houses like that so we can have this road continue on like this until the end like that so we can have a prefecture engineers post people are disgruntled we're past 200 population let's see if we can get above 300 and maintain that shall we a few more immigrants coming in okay so this is the immigration glitch this is the immigration glitch ah oh, damn it something burnt down where here we need even more prefectures. This is such a terrible design. It's because tents burn down. That should cover it. I think the, the way those intersections are sort of set up, it's a bit difficult. Okay, that's just one house. That's just one house. Can someone please put out that fire? People are moving out. Don't worry, don't worry. Come on, some prefecture, some prefect, there we go, there we go. Place a gatehouse under the stairs, they're currently walking out. Yeah, do I want a gatehouse here? Like this? There we go. I hate these stairs, really. And just for this side, look at them, they, they just circle around the stairs forever. I'm gonna delete that road. Okay, we put out that fire, no problem. A house will go back there. Population's 270. It looks like we have enough immigrants to get above 300 and stay there. I'm not sure these guys are going to be moving in anytime soon. But let's speed things along. I hope these houses don't move out because that's going to cause some problems. Oh, gods. Gods, right. Ah, uh, let's get some temples down. Let's arrange these temples so they look good. We have roads facing all sorts of directions. Ceres, Neptune can go right there. Uh, we can have Mercury facing this way. Mercury can go right there. We can have Mars. Mars is facing this way. Uh, we can have Mars facing... Like that, and we can have Venus facing like that. There we go. Temples nicely distributed. Mm. Uh, why do I doubt that I'll finish this mission even though it's super easy? <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing some crazy stuff here. I'm doing some crazy stuff. Gods are unhappy, don't worry, we just got... We're above 300 people. So that means our well maze, more immigrants are coming in as well. Our well maze is, has now served its purpose. Very good. Well maze now complete. Oh, these people did actually move in. Would you look at that? What is our employment? Yeah, we need more people. Whew, okay. Doing some crazy inefficient stuff is definitely not, uh, <laughs> not the best thing to do, but we can get some iron mines down now. Iron mine, iron mine, workshop, weapons, 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 weapons. Can an iron mine go right here? Yeah, so see we got plenty of space for iron mines, plenty of space for weapons, workshops, and a dock. Plenty of space on this side. Actually cleared off too much. Okay, we are at 350 people, so we have to wait for the people are annoyed with you uh, bug to disappear. That's just going to take a little bit of time. Are these guys moving out? No, so nothing's burning down over here, which is fantastic. Food is starting to be produced, uh, but let's... Uh, I suppose we do need to sort of have a granary right here, right? Just to start stocking it. Uh, granary right there set to accepting wheat and if you're wondering why wheat not vegetables it's because wheat on some maps do actually produce more food distant battle 
I should prepare my defenses. Oh, they're coming from there, from Corinthus. Okay. So, has has the Walker glitch fixed itself yet? People are still annoyed with me. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna need. Ah, yes, there is water on this side, so we can definitely just have like a reservoir right here, like this. We could make it a bit closer. Reservoir. We're gonna need to clear that, I think. Clear that, clear that. Reservoir, aqueduct. That will provide water to kind of this side. One, two, three, four. Oh, it would actually be better if it was one more tile in. I underestimated its reach. Fountain. Right there. And right there. We're at 369. People are still annoyed with me. We can... I, I don't know if this actually works. Upping uh, the pay and lowering the taxes. I don't know if it actually helps or it's just waiting for the glitch to get through, but oh well. Oh. So we gotta get a stockpile of weapons. I need doctors, yes! Thank you for reminding me, Sajuk. <laughs> we need doctors. Uh, doctors are somewhat efficient with how they pass uh, through housing. So let's uh, not go too crazy on doctors. We'll put maybe three. Three doctors? Because the coverage for doctors is actually quite acceptable. How many people are we short by? 84? Okay. There we go. More people are now moving in. We have gotten past the, the immigration glitch. We're gonna need more houses, though, I think. How do I do this? If I we do something like that, get more houses down. We can have more houses coming around. <laughs> Not quite like that. We can have it go until there. Make sure the water coverage is okay. Those houses are not quite covered, but uh, we could cover them, I think, if I had like a fountain here. One, two, three, four, yeah. That will actually cover it. There we go. Involves a few more houses, brings in more people. Food stocks are starting to stockpile up here. Poor access to employees. Yeah, we just need some more people in here. But the brunt of starting a city is now over. And look at this, look at this. It looks, it looks so nice and interesting to look at. Doesn't it? It looks so nice and interesting. Totally not the most functional way to do things. Ah, okay. So we're gonna start producing weapons here. We need quite a few weapons, not just to supply our own army, but also, uh, uh, no engineers? There's an engineer right there. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, we need weapons for sale and also for our own army. So we need to focus on that. We're almost at 500 people, actually. How many people are we short by? 76? Lots more people streaming through. That's okay. All right, we can clear off this part of the well maze as well. And just for OCD, I will restore this road to its former glory of a dirt path. <laughs> I've got this preemptively set up in case we need any uh, 500 citizens, okay. Now, do they... We could sell oil, but getting oil to the coast is going to be a bit of a pain. Unless I can convert these to olive farms and then have like the workshops going along the road or something. Uh, it's a bit tricky. Okay, these houses are evolving. They don't have access to water. We do need a fountain there then to water up those houses. And we could just put like a couple gardens. 
Be a small statue right there. Looks okay. How is our doctor coverage? Yeah, the three doctors kind of does it for us. Three doctors is pretty good. Despite the number of routes they can take. I'm not sure if they'll walk down this way, but hopefully they will. But you see, it, it, it goes down very slowly. So once a doctor passes a house, it's good for a good long while. Do we have... We have unemployment. Would you look at that? Uh, with unemployment, we can expand our... Iron industry. We can go ahead and get more weapons workshops. Uh, we'll just go... One, two, three. Do we need it to be this big? Probably not, right? And if I actually clear off this road, move this road, do something like that, we can have the warehouse right here to store the weapons. And we can move the prefecture. Inspired by Mars? Some locals have decided to... Wait, why are the gods unhappy? Is there no autosave? There's no autosave. Okay. If that's the case. <laughs> Let's see if we can deal with it. I put a tower right here, and I put a barracks right here, temporarily. It's only like three guys. It's only like three guys. It's only like three guys. Are the gods actually unhappy? Why are they displeased? Was it because religion was not... There were no people working in the temples? Well, the only thing I'm concerned about right now is... An invasion. So let's hold a festival to Mars. 91? Yeah, sure. Take it. <laughs> Mars is upset. It's three guys. It's three guys. We got all these prefects. We got all these prefects. Weapons are going to start coming in for our... our Stuff. Uh, we're gonna need the prefecture and engineers post down here before things burn down and collapse. Okay, it's three guys. I think these prefects should be able to handle it. I'm not sure if this tower will be manned, but uh, the wall will slow them down, but the prefects can walk out to fight, which is gonna be good. And I don't know if I should like block that off or something, but we'll find out. Okay, okay. I think, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Tower needs people. Does it not have access to that road? Does that not count as road access? I suppose it's not quite... Does that count as road access? It is not adjacent to a road. Really? Well, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where's, where's the invaders? Where are they fighting? Oh, they're down here. Okay. They are going for my farms. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think my guys are going through and fighting them. Yeah, look at that. The army of prefects are just... Marching around right back here. Some are going out to fight them. Ooh, they busted through pretty quick. Come on, Prefects. You can do it. 
and we're in debt. <laughs> this is why you don't build blocks like this and also piss off Mars. I think we did it. I think I overdid my defenses. We've killed two of three of them. We did it! Would you look at that? We did it. Problem solved. We've got a thousand people and we're running out of money. Weapons are coming in though. Once a few weapons are in... Once a few we... 26% unemployment. Jeez. We don't need that barracks there, do we? I think to solve our population or employment issue, I'll just destroy some houses. It's the cheapest and quickest solution. Weapons are starting to come in, looking good. Festival for Mars, which should deal with... Well, hopefully if we can get a blessing from Mars, we'll actually be protected a little bit. Ah, okay, okay. So it's 25% unemployment. I need to like put down a Senate or something like right there. It would be better if I moved this one over. How many weapons do we have? Two? What's the process on all of this? 56, 73, 27, 40, 27. Okay. We'll be able to get out of debt because we have set up our exports and we have already opened the trade route. And weapons are worth a lot. Weapons are worth a lot. So we just need to build up... Did I never... I always forget to lower this! You guys don't remind me of this. You... I always forget. Wait, did I not? Did I already lower it? I'm pretty sure that was still 40. I haven't up this. We gotta up that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> We're still paying our, our workers way too much. Way too much. Uh, this unemployment issue is getting a little out of hand. I didn't realize there were going to be so many people moving in to this city. Jeez. We do not need that many people. I built way too many houses. Okay. Weapons are coming in. Okay. That's three, four units. 55%. These are all fully employed. 80, 27. Okay. So I think we can put down a dock now. Which is gonna go right... It'll be slightly more efficient on this side. And it allows us room for one more weapons workshop, because I think we can actually take that. Lots of weapons are in. We have six, seven units. Seven units will cover our debt, no problem. Here comes the first boat. This is why I don't want to put down the, the dock too early. That's when the boat spawns. So we get to control when we actually sell things. All right. Ah. And this should take us... Wait, why? It was up to me. I wouldn't sail this way. <laughs> this city never buys anything awesome. I forgot to set it to export. I forgot to set it to export. It's okay. Let's look at our favor rating. Favor rating's fine. Favor rating's fine. Peace got a bit screwed up. Um, we have a full granary here. Uh, so I'm just leaving that because... Uh... It's okay, the next time the boat comes back, we'll sell 12 units. Um, people like having a granary full of food. Enemies are closing. Okay. I guess just to get things functional and safe, I do need to get a fort of javelins, right? I just have to. Enemies closing is still a long ways away. The invasions aren't too big. I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, so at this point, we can't do much except for wait for the next boat to come by. There we go. Please buy some weapons. There we go. Off they go. Out of the debt anniversary. Fantastic. Debt anniversaries are terrible. Favor's still 28. 
That gives us enough money. I'm gonna put the barracks down here. Like that. Which should be fine. And that means we can go back into debt for a fort of legionaries. Which I guess I will want to have out here. This can be like the military zone, right? They can march through here. We can have the prefecture and engineers post here. Are these towers now connected to roads? They are? Okay, so we can get those two towers manned. I know that tower can't quite send out a walker, but I could build a road, uh, a wall extending out both those sides. But I do want to try and protect my residential area because it's going to be the most important area. And with all these weapons coming in, we just sold 12. So it's basically... No, we, they, we only bought six. Okay, so they don't buy all that much. And we still have time. So the next time the boat comes around, I'll start getting legionnaires. That'll be good. We've got those towers down. I'd like to get these towers down, but... Uh, <laughs> towers need to be connected to the barracks. That's a good point. I just need to extend the road. Uh, this road just needs to be like that. So all of this is, is like the military zone down the hill. And I'll just make sure fire and damage are secured on this side. There is space for, like, yeah, I could put another prefecture and engineer's post up this way, which would actually be more appropriate, I think. But I guess having extra won't hurt. Ah, okay, okay. Things are working out, things are working out. Uh, I will want to move this road out one tile so that I can fit a senate in the middle here, which will actually allow a row of two houses on the back. Desirability will be... There we go, these towers are now functional. Mm. All right, things are looking like they're stabilizing. <laughs> it's so inefficient to build the, the, the town like this. All right, here comes the next sale of weapons. There we go. So now we can go and head and get a fort of legionaries which I will place right here. That looks good enough to me. Yeah, legionaries. I would love to get a military academy as well, but we'll go into debt for that. And I really shouldn't, right? I really shouldn't. I'll wait for the next sale and I'll get a military academy. Yep, so we can just speed things along. There's no rush, really, as long as we don't get invaded. Here's the next boat. Oh, we've sold the max for this year. Right. Two boats do it for us. All right. If they invade from this side... Actually, if they invade from anywhere, we should be able to take them. Right? We should be able to. I hope so. I mean, if I want to gate up this side that's gonna be a bit tricky we got these guys it's november now you're not gonna buy anything are you the boat comes four times a year it seems all right we're going into debt next month anyway so let's just put down the military academy and we're gonna need a we're gonna need a gatehouse right here so those walkers go back up that way for the employment access. What storms? A messenger who just arrived has tales of terrible storms far from here. Sea merchants have been caught and their ships destroyed. It could be months before they're able to trade with us again. The game. That was not a god thing. That was a scripted event. <laughs> it's okay. This is gonna take quite a while, I think. Of course, when I go into debt, trade is cut off. Look how many weapons we have, though. We have way too many weapons. Five oil, 24 months. I could do that if I had the money. 
Ah, the boat's back. Yes, please, just just buy a ton of stuff. Emperor requests goods. Main priority is to get out of debt. Rome increased the price of oil, so it's more worth it to export if we so desired. And also, while I'm here, I should drop my salary. Can we get out of... Yes, we reset the debt anniversary. Fantastic. Favor is still 21. Favor is actually already above what we need. So favor is not really a concern. Academy trained, yes. Morale, perfect. We've got a full legion there, pretty much. We can go ahead and get farm olives. We need the road to come up a little bit. And we can have a workshop oil. And I'd probably... How do I want to do this? I'll probably extend this road. Let's clear that off. We'll need a bit of space here to have a warehouse for oil. And yes, we're back in debt. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Workshop, oil. We'll get that oil going. Ah, there's really not many exports on this map. If we get some oil going, maybe we could, maybe we could sell things. <laughs> the oil trade route, is it from, the oil trade route is a different trade route. So if I get two docks, I wouldn't mind the oil trading to walk all the way down here. It wouldn't be the worst thing. There we go. We've got a full fort of legionnaires. Money is starting to come in. Okay. Fantastic. And at this point, I just kind of want to... I will need probably another backup prefecture engineer's post. I think we'll need a couple houses there. We'll break that road connection for now. First invasion. First invasion. Ah. Let's go. Where are they coming from? Down here, all right. Go into the box formation. So how many of them are there? One fully trained legion should be able to deal with invasions on this map, right? Should be able to. Let's couple spear throwers. Oh, they're killing the sheep. They just show up and kill a sheep. All right. Look at that. They're, they're just hunting all the, the local wildlife. All right, let's bring these guys over. We could just charge into them. Yes, yes, yes. We're in debt. And fight. Clash. Start engaging those guys there. Come back this side. And that should deal with them. Is there a mop up? Yeah. Did it. And we lost only four. Did it. Yes, yes. Did those sheep escape or did they all die? Ah, oh, they ran down here. Ah, oh, the sheep are safe. I think they only got two. I think they only got two sheep. A few soldiers, a couple sheep. <laughs> there we go, and we can train that back up. Oof. We have way too many weapons. I'll delete some stuff here, but... Because uh, I could fit a second dock there, which will allow the sale of oil, because they could walk all the way down here. That wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, yeah, I could put a second dock right there. We cut back on the weapons production, so let's... I could just do that now, really. Do that. Put a second dock there. 
Is oil coming in at all? Poor access to employees. Why? This... But did... I lost... Wait. I lost the houses here? Wait, didn't I... Have an engineer's post there? How did that happen? I'm not sure. Okay, some oil is coming in. Some oil. How much time do we have left for that? 13 months for 5 units? Yeah, we, we should be able to do that. Okay. Another boat coming in. Do we have any weapons to sell? Yes, it's a fresh year. No employees live nearby. Well, let's just put a couple houses there then. Precisely zero denari. There we go, okay. I don't have to worry too much about fulfilling requests on time because... Uh, we're already at our favor target. Okay, so now... We have money, I can shift this road over like I've been wanting to do. And now I think we can get things going. This fountain will go there. We'll delete that. We can replace that temple to Mars and that temple to Venus. And I wanted to put a Senate down right here because it looks fantastic and that's a perfect spot for it. That deals with unemployment. And I probably should feed people before doing anything, yeah? So to do that, I'm gonna need granaries to get. So how do I want to do this? I could... Two, three, four, five, six. No, I just have a granary here, I think. And we'll get rid of that road. And we'll break that road. So there's not too many places to walk to. He just walked right across there. <laughs> and we're gonna need maybe like some houses. Right there. Okay. We'll need a gatehouse. Right there. So that connects that road. And we can have a gatehouse. Right there. So that connects that road. What is that? Okay, that connects that road. The wheat's now being delivered this side, and this granary is going to be set to getting. This one's just set to accepting, okay. We're going to need probably a few granaries then. Granary here. Granary here. All set to getting wheat. And if I had infinite money, I'd build a wall right here to defend everything. But these, this, this looks pretty cool, right? The, the two towers down there. I'd set it up on this side as well, but it's a little tricky. Okay, so all these granaries are set to getting. You can see the cart pushes are coming down here to get the food. We're gonna fill up all these granaries so there's plenty of food. And then we can start feeding the people. Isn't that exciting? How's our employment? Two in warehouse, eight months to comply. City is short by people, so I guess we'll get more houses down. We could have a row of houses right there. We could refill these areas. We're back in debt. Yes, I'm not too concerned about that. Favor is 12. And you know what? Because we're, we've got enough challenges, I'm going to send a gift to make sure we don't get invaded by Caesar. Do not connect the roads. Uh, don't worry. There's a gatehouse. Oil is coming in a little bit. We're not selling oil yet. We've prepped for it, but we're not selling oil yet. I think we're still producing way too many weapons, right? We can't sell this many. I guess if I do that... It'll solve our employment issue. Enemies are closing on the city again? Oh, they are. They're coming from across the way. Ah, I keep missing the the notice that we are going to be invaded. 
But okay, there we go. Food is coming in. It's October. Okay, we'll get our money back next year. We're gonna start taxing people, yeah? So that's gonna be okay. Uh, taxing tents doesn't do all that much, though. Back to a thousand people. Fantastic. There's room for a lot of people here, but we'll see if we can get things working appropriately. <laughs> Alright, this granary has been raided. As more people come in, we can have more farms. That tree needs to go. We're gonna need a big stock of food if we wanna feed that area. How much food is here? 200? 800, 1100, 800, okay. And before I feed the people, I'm gonna need money because we're gonna need money to build places for them to work. Ah, warehouses are filled. Fantastic, let's dispatch that. More oil is going to slowly come in here. We could boost our oil production a little bit and then we could start selling oil with two docks. It won't clog up the system. Please buy some weapons. There we go. And now we can start feeding the people. Market. I'm going to move this prefecture over one tile here. So I can put the market right here as close as it can be. We're gonna be invaded, no problem. You know what? Another fort of legionnaires would be good to have. And that should secure our military power. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's going okay, but this is gonna be a slightly long mission because I've gone ahead and done this silly thing on this hill of not using... Uh, any specific block design, but I want to I, I want to prove that it's possible to build a city Not using block designs that are not realistic. I want I want to do that. I want to do that uh, to show that it is actually possible um, But it is not optimal in my first playthrough I did nine by nine pretty much every mission and this is pretty much the opposite of that <laughs> Uh, let's see if this market can feed things up. We've got plenty of food. I guess I just start spamming markets everywhere, right? I mean, I could have a market there. I mean, it's a long walk for, for all of these things. Let's just slowly grow this area. Look at that. We are actually feeding people. Where do I want this market to be? Maybe down here? That makes kind of some sense. Series of... The gods are unhappy again. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need temples. So I guess temples are gonna come along here. Ceres, Neptune. We're gonna see that animation a lot. He's just gonna keep saying pa. It's okay. One more temple to each. That should keep the gods... Ooh, they are irritated, but they're not angry yet. We've got three markets down, all trying to get food into their stocks. This first feeding is gonna be a little tricky. Another boat should be coming by to buy weapons soon enough. And we could probably expand our oil industry a little bit. I have a few workshops over here. This should actually be moved over so I can fit one more workshop there. But I'll, I'll get to that. Okay. Food is looking surprisingly good. Uh, all of this, they need entertainment to evolve. Okay. Capua is willing to trade more weapons. Yes, yes. How much more? To 25? They're willing to buy 25 weapons a year. We have hit the point where we can actually make some proper money. Would you look at that? <laughs> 
Ah, all right, we're carrying more food over this way. It seems like the first feeding went decently enough. Um, this right side has been fed. Uh, this left side will be a bit trickier. Maybe I'll need to squeeze in a couple of granaries set to getting back there or something. It'll be a little trickier to get that food going. But okay, okay. One hour into playing this map on the most unoptimized design ever. Uh, <laughs> is actually kind of working. Okay. These markets, yeah, struggling to keep up with the food. The free markets should keep it going. Uh, we have 12% unemployment, not the worst thing in the world. Are you gonna buy more weapons? Thank you so much. We've got a second fort of legionnaires coming down. A couple towers there. I'll probably be able to set up a similar thing on this side. The Senate. Is there no water access to the right middle there? How can I... If I put a fountain there, does it actually reach? Helps a little bit. How does this have access to water? One, two, three, four. Oh, that does actually have access. Ah, perfect. It worked. Okay. Money is coming in. Population's coming in. Food is being fed. Gods are... Okay, they're happy. Yeah, they're happy. Gods are happy. Population's going back up. We'll need more temples soon. Money's looking good. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, maybe expand the olive production and start selling oil. Yeah, we're doing that. I'm gonna move this prefecture here. I'm gonna move this engineer's post here. And we're gonna need, like... Get rid of that, and we can have like a house and a house like that. And when those two houses move in, we can delete these houses, fit one more olive work uh, oil workshop rather, and we can put down another olive farm right here. Olives. No, that that would look really weird. Uh, farm olives. Olives are sort of the outsider here. That. That's a bit more efficient as well. Okay. I think we did it. I think we did it. Look at that. We're feeding people all the way down there. <laughs> oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. I can't believe we made it work. I can't believe this worked. This is, so, this, this is the kind of design that I would always get on city building doctor and people saying, Oh, my city's not stable. Things keep de devolving. Well, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. Uh, Marcus D. Law says, still not one mission, just give me another hour. Just give me one more hour and we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, of course there are more storms, but one boat made it through. Please, buy more weapons. There we go. Uh, this city is gonna look absolutely fantastic when it's done. It looks absolutely terrible until it's done, though. It, it looks... <laughs> this is something I never... This is the opposite of everything I did in the original playthrough. Uh, so it's... I'm doing my job here. I'm doing my job. More weapons have come in. Those two houses have moved in. We can go ahead and put one more workshop oil. Is that the enemy's closing distant battle? Okay. Okay, more military is going to be coming in. We've got another fort of legions here. And now that we have some money, what I can do is I can hook up this road, put a road like that, have like a couple houses. How do I want to do this? A couple houses like that, I think. No, it, it needs to be like a couple houses like that because the walkers are going to be a bit weird. And then I'm gonna need to put, like, a gatehouse. Like that. And then have... Walls. Coming out the side like that. Is that... will that be... I need this to be a road. That has to be a road. I don't know if one house is okay there. Oh, we're under attack. We're under attack. 
Ah, uh, put the gatehouse on the top of the stairs. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be symmetrical, would it? Where are they coming from? This side? No problem. I'll just put these towers down. It wouldn't be symmetrical if I did that. It needs to be... At least the illusion of symmetry. There's a there's a road back there, but can't quite tell. Anyway, let's get our troops up to where they need to be. We'll we'll defend like here, I guess. Okay, that looks good. Food's still coming over. Food's struggling a little bit. We're gonna need more wheat farms. There we go. More wheat farms, okay. Let's deal with this invasion. Two trained legionnaires should be good. These towers will be sort of like the, the last resort of, of things. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a larger invasion than before. But I think we can handle it. I think it'll be okay. If they invade from this side, these towers will actually be able to help out. But if they invade from this side, we don't really have defenses set up here. Oh, there's market ladies walking down this way because food's run out over here? Okay, I see. That means we need more granaries. Okay, let's deal with this. I guess we just go attack them, right? Walk right through so all of you engage the enemy. We'll be able to engage those spearmen. Walk through all of this. Engage everyone. There we go. Yes, yes. Die. And I think they will die. Okay. Two legionnaires seem to be okay. Micro, micro. <laughs> Alright, return to fort. We fought them off. Eight and fourteen. We lost a good number of troops. Oh, they're not quite dead yet. There we go. Now you're dead. Eight and fourteen, I think. Seven and fourteen. Okay. We lost uh, quite a few troops, but we'll be able to replenish that, no problem. Meanwhile, I need to start getting some food over to this side. So what I need to do is actually have, like, a couple granaries like this with a road coming down like this. Like that, and have, like, an extra prefecture and engineer's post like this, and have these two set to getting wheat as well. To get even more food over to that side. Because even though it's a massively long walk, it'll be fine. <laughs> it just brings over a little bit more food to the housing area. Ah, so much food is being brought over. And as the food floods into this one, they can carry 800 each, I think. Yeah, so because the cart pushes are spread out, we actually managed to get enough food in there for the cart pushes to grab it and bring it back here. How are these houses doing on food? Actually, okay. The markets actually have food in them. Would you look at that? The markets actually have food. Ah, more temples. They're indifferent, yeah. Uh, we do need more temples, but I'll wait a little bit while longer. Look at the mo Wow, where did we get all this money from? We can also start selling oil. Uh, so let's open this trade route. Visit advisor, oil. We will export when it's over eight units, I guess. Go buy oil if you like. The dock will walk all the way down this way to grab the oil, but I don't care. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Money is not too much of a concern right now. We have plenty of unemployment. These need entertainment first, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna not do entertainment. I'm gonna do schools. How many schools do you think we need? School. 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 We'll see the coverage of that. Uh, we can start giving people barbers as well. Barber, 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 barber. Did we put down four, was it? Health. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we can start providing baths as well. They need to be in range of the water, so let's go ahead and do that. Is that...? Okay. We probably need one over on this side as well. Bath right at the end of the room? Oh, we can fit one there. But I kind of want that for an amphitheater. I could extend this room. And have baths right at the end like that. So I'm going to provide all the other things first. Uh, how about commerce tax income? We probably need a few forums here and there just to make sure we are actually taxing people properly. Another tax collector there. Uh, another tax collector... One there. How do we want to tax people? We can just dispatch that immediately. Uh, another tax collector... How do I want to do this? Uh, you know what? A couple tax collectors. I don't really like to rely on tax income too much, but uh, it'll help out. Okay. Look at that. Food is actually being carried over to that side. They're all getting from this one granary, which is being maintained by all these farms. Everything's being carried over to here. 700 food in that one, 480 food in that market. Some food has come down this side, which means we get to place a market here now. So that, look at this. There's now 1,000 or 1,500 wheat over on that side. So bath access. So let me check health. Clinics are still doing okay. Yep. Health. Barber. Doing fine. Um, health. Baths. Our bath's not quite accessing up there, I think. Not sure if we could fix that. We probably could if I... Move things around a little bit. If I clear that off. Can I actually make room for it? I could put the baths there, but I should move these things around, actually. It should be prefecture for safety, engineer's post, clinic, so a doctor, and a barber. Okay, that'll guarantee bath access to that side. One's actually walking up that way, but that'll just guarantee it. Baths might be a little low on this side. I'm not too sure if I check here. Baths, there is access, but it's not probably not as stable as I want it to be. But uh, I suppose it's okay for now, for now. We'll see if that holds up. Okay, it's looking like a real city. It's looking like a real city. Uh, Marcus D. Lol says, remove the road, warehouse transfer the food, works 100%, no empty granaries. You mean use warehouses to get food from another warehouse? Manson asks, is, is this a design? No, this is not a design. This is not how design works. This is throwing stuff down and hoping it works. <laughs> it, uh, I wouldn't call it design, per se. It seems like the oil sales are actually slowing things down here. I might need another dock, you know?
Did we actually... Oh, because we're now selling more weapons, we can actually up our weapons production again. Workshop. Weapons. We can do that. Enemies are closing, okay. I'm not too concerned. I suppose I would like to have some javelins, if anything. Just to be absolutely certain that we are safe. Yeah, I'll just put it back here. Javelins. Okay. Food seems to be holding up, I guess. This this row here is not being fed because the market's not sort of making it its way up there, but it'll probably eventually do it. Eventually. Okay. So do I need more people? I don't need more people right now. Let me just check. Overlays, education, schools. Is everything covered by the three schools? The kids sort of run everywhere. They don't make it up that side. Yeah, the kid sort of ends there. Maybe these houses on the end, probably not the best, yeah? It should be like a service down the side, so like a school. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Marcus D. Law says, yes, because the farms will walk all the way to the top. Road equals destroys your farm system currently. You see too many carts on the road. They are from farms, not granaries. Um... No, they're all from granaries. They're all from granaries. What uh, I do need for some safety is actually another granary. How can I make this work? If I... Oh, there's space right there. What I need is a second granary here set to accepting. That way if one fills up the other one will be fine. Dockers are collecting some goods. We're, <laughs> we're buying we're buying oil. I'm not sure if selling oil is really working out right now. Let's stop exporting it. I think it's actually costing us more than we need. Javelins coming in, more foods coming in. There's some food. I mean, the houses are fed. The houses are fed. For the most part. 8% unemployment. Population target is 4,000. We're halfway there. Prosperity will reach. Peace is already there. Culture can be go going up. Okay. So I guess we now need to have some acting stuff. How do I want to do this? Uh... I should actually move these temples. Prefecture. Engineer's post. But you know, I could just have the actor colony here. And the gladiator school here. And then we can start putting some theatres around. Let's go... Theatre? 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 And we could fit an amphitheatre... ...right there. Can I fit another amphitheatre somewhere? I suppose I could fit it on this side. Okay. That will start evolving these houses. We can actually produce our own pottery as well. Which I think will work if I... There we go. Money's coming from selling weapons. So all of these have now evolved. These houses here are now evolving as well. 
If we evolve all of these houses, we might, we'll probably get very close to 4,000 people, actually. I think we can get to 4,000 people just from here. There we go. We're now at 2,000 people. Fantastic. I'm selling weapons to the black market. Don't quite think that's how it works. All right, so we've done that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish this mission today, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. If we go a little while longer, it should be okay. So more people are definitely going to be coming in here. So this is going to boost our population significantly. Uh, some desirability issues, so we could just start... Sort of doing things like that. Get some medium statues down. We could garden up a little bit. Do things like that. Okay. Like, are there three houses there? That house doesn't have water. That's fine. I'll get rid of that. Too little entertainment. Seems like the entertainment walkers aren't quite going up that way. It should be okay, but look at that. We're all at small casas now. With all of this new employment, I'm gonna set up a new... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this. So I can do that. So I can have some houses there. Have the prefecture engineer's post like that so that we can then have raw materials clay pit. One, two, three. We can then have workshops, pottery. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can have the warehouse right here set to accepting pottery. Okay. And then we're gonna need probably a warehouse somewhere closer. I suppose it's fine if we just do this. We'll keep it separate anyway, set to getting pottery. Okay. Bit more foods coming down this side, another 500 units. Uh, schools affecting desirability there, let's do that. Look at that, everything is small casa. We probably could do with another couple medium statues here, though. No basic education. School children do not walk there? <laughs> School children are not reaching those houses. Oh well, those, ha those houses will evolve into two by twos when we get there, I think. All right. There's still plenty of room for more houses, so I'm not too concerned. But I really should... I get another couple of granaries down, I think. Like that. And set this to... Getting wheat. Just so there's more granaries over on that side. All right, all right. And furniture, we need to import furniture, I think. Yeah, 15 units. So for that, I'm going to shift. Actually, I won't have to. I can just put the warehouse straight here and have this set to accepting furniture. So when we want to start importing furniture, it'll be okay. Okay, the food supply down there looks okay. There's some food up there. Food back here is struggling a little bit, but how is the food supply in the markets? None there, 800 there, 200 there, at 600 there. With more markets going around, we're actually a bit more secure. I probably want one more market. Oh yes, that again. I probably want one more market just to 
guarantee that a little bit. It is January, so we'll be selling weapons again soon. More weapons coming in. Okay. Uh, why not get oil closer to the docks? I have Market Lady going down to the farms. That happens sometimes. Look at that. That, that shouldn't happen if we get... Like, I just set up these two granaries just to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Also, these granaries being a little bit closer, in case things do overflow, it'll be okay. Employment is 12%. Okay, so now... How can I do this? So I can have this road. Do something like that, to loop around like that. This should be relatively secure. These houses should be shifted over to the intersection. And if they walk this way, they'll, they should pass those houses, but I'm just gonna secure that up anyway. And double protect that, okay. So we got more farms down. <coughs> Food is sort of scattered, but uh, we're sort of making it work. And we have one more invasion to deal with. By the way, just so, just so <laughs> just so you know, from these missions on, after this mission, I'm gonna be building like blocks, blocks, okay? Because this is very difficult to work with. It's very difficult. These are all set to getting, right? Pottery is coming in. So that will get the pottery from there. You know what? I should not set this to getting quite yet. I'll let this, uh, the pottery supply stockpile a little bit first, and we'll try to get the food a little bit more stockpiled as well. This granary's filled up. Why are market ladies coming down here? Oh, the gods are unhappy. This market is going to these granaries. I see, I see. Why? 12% unemployment? Gonna need more temples. Not to worry, we'll do this. There we go. So we can fit more temples there. This market here considers this, these granaries closer to those granaries, even though the walking distance is further. So that's a little bit of a problem, I think. Not the worst problem, but... <laughs> Alright, more food is coming in. We can get rid of those two houses there. Employment is still a little tricky, so I guess we get more farms. Okay, supply of oil is fine. Which reminds me, this over here can be set to getting oil. Getting furniture, I guess. We could have some furniture there. Pottery is starting to come in. Once we have enough pottery, we can evolve these houses further. This market's sort of a backup market anyway. So it should be fine. This market, okay. That has food. So these two markets on the right have food. So it's not the worst thing.
I should set this market to getting oil as well, so we could sell it a bit easier. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. This one here is set to accepting oil, okay. Did I open a trade route? I didn't, right? Why are these suddenly... Okay, there we go. Alright, in terms of military, I think we're fine. Money is back in the bank. Food is struggling a little bit. Uh, this road is... I think it would be quick if I actually had something doing that, right? And just in case, I will do this. That shortcut should actually make these farms down here a bit more efficient. This granary is full, but no market is going for it. Yeah, this row of houses is probably the worst row of houses. <laughs> that one's the tricky one. And what is actually our prosperity? 22, culture's fine, peace is fine, favor is fine. So it is just prosperity and population. So if I wanted to boost population, I can build slums. But in that case, if I'm going to build some slums... Actually, I don't need to build slums. I just need to have, like, a row of houses here, right? If I have a row of houses right here... And I have a market right here... And I have the prefecture... An engineer's post like that. And we need a reservoir. Ah, oh, we could have the reservoir come out this way. Doing something like this. This will actually be an easy way to increase our population. We'll do that. Clear off room for a reservoir there. Reservoir goes there. We clear off some room back here. And we can have fountains right here. And it'll be very easy to feed these people. What do we need? Theater, amphitheater, school, baths. Employees needed. Okay. Not to worry, that row of houses will be fine, and then we are going to need some desirability stuff. So, medium statue, medium statue, medium statue, gardens there a bit, I guess. We could have the fountains part of the decorations. And that row of houses will be evolved no problem. And I think for stability, I will destroy these houses. <laughs> uh, in exchange, I could move the theater up that way. And I could move the school. Oh no, there's already a school up there. That's fine. Okay, so then there's that. And we could go ahead and tax this row of houses as well. All right. Don't forget doctor and barber. Yes, thank you so much. We're going to hear pass so much in this mission. Uh, let's see. Uh... Doctor. We could use up that road there. And a barber. 
we can just... There's no perfectly efficient... Actually, is that... That might work. No access to any local religious facilities, so we do need more temples here. Let's clear that up. We can go series. And have the next row of houses, uh, next row of temples here Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Okay, so that will evolve these houses further up to small casas. Fantastic. This market should be having no problem keeping up with food. This road here is actually. Uh, helping access for these farms here. That looks good. Not the best. Which I, if I actually move this granary here... It would probably be better. So if I set this to accepting, and I get rid of that granary, and have this road just connect up like that... That will actually be more efficient in terms of stockpiling food. There's actually a lot of food around here now, actually. Look at that. All of that has filled out. And that row of houses has sort of stabilized. Okay. There's like bits of food here and there. So now we can go ahead and set this to getting pottery. So we can start providing pottery. Oh, uh, those storms cut into our, our money quite a bit. Favor 16. Okay. As long as it's above 10, it's fine. <laughs> so it actually looks like food supplies are stabilizing. Look at that. Now that this granary is over here, that's filled out very nicely. That will be the second one to fill out. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's working correctly. That granary is full, that granary is full. It's just this market that's confused. Oh, look at that, some pottery is coming in. Storms again, and we're under attack. Okay. And 10 oil. Coming from down there? Okay. That's gonna be a bit of a pain, because we're gonna need to have a road breaking through that. Where's the music? There we go. Okay. I don't want them breaking our aqueduct. <laughs> that would be very bad. Very bad indeed because it provides water to all of this side there. Okay. All right, we're actually having some overflow of food, which is not the worst thing. It'll overflow to here first, and if we uh, fill that granary up... Okay, okay, they're, they're starting to come through here. Let's not lure them quite yet. And just in time, there we go. Come on. Huh? Greek soldiers? We can take you. It's actually easy. <laughs> Alright. So food's filled out. Back into debt. We sold some there. These houses have all evolved. 2% unemployment, that's fine. I think the invasion is stopping new immigration. Yep. And they're all dead. Wait, no. Go back home. Go back home. Go back home. Invasion dealt with. This row of houses have evolved as well. We need a supply of furniture. You know what? I think we do need to just start selling that as well. We've got some over on that side. If I move this temple to Venus, I have another one over there and shift this here and have another warehouse here and set this to getting more oil, we might be able to speed up quite a bit of the oil exports. 
they can buy from getting warehouses, right? Oh, yeah, they can, they can. There we go, more immigrants coming in. That will cross us into a good area. We're gonna need a row of houses here to boost our population some more. Uh, these just need furniture to evolve. So they have all the su uh, supplies they need. We're gonna clear off that. We're gonna need some fountains. More storms. Okay. Okay. That will boost our population further. We're into 3,000 people. Yes, yes. Oh, the dregs of coffee. The dregs of coffee. <laughs> okay. And if we look around here... Pottery and food has kind of stabilized, so I could not do that. I could have squeeze in like a few more houses here and there. Especially at the intersections. Am I selling oil? I am now. But those storms, th there's like a storm that happens every year. It's, it's such a pain. But doing this should boost our population even further. I don't want to strain the system too much. Wait. Where did all of our food carts go to? Did these two granaries actually fill up and... Wait, why didn't they dump it into here? Where did all of our farm food carts go? They should have overflowed into this area. Is it overflowing into this area? It overflowed into here? Oh, this is this is the bug that someone showed me once. So these farms actually think that these granaries are closer than these granaries, even though physically, the number of tiles, this is further, right? It should be thinking that these granaries are closer, or at least this one right here, right? It should think this granary is closer, but it thinks that one is closer because for some reason, left and right, it counts twice as far. It counts twice as far. See? Marcus D. Law says, told you this was exactly, is exactly what happened, but this is a bug. These granaries are by tile physically closer. It should flow into this second. It should not flow into this. The reason why this is a problem now is because all these farms went to these. Right? So it thinks this, like this is one screen wide. And this is one screen wide vertically. So just by, by size and by tile number, these are closer. Like this market picks food from here because this is physically closer than this, right? But this is a bug. <laughs> Marcus D. Lal says, well, I don't think it matters if it's a bug, just should not use road system. Um. Yeah, but then I'm I'm getting with warehouses and that's tricky as well. But anyway, population is getting up there. Ah, oh, storms. Please buy some weapons. Buying some oil. Okay, we've got some oil here. We've got 9, 17. Okay, oil has overflowed into here, which is perfect. So that speeds up our oil sales. It does help. Let's get money going. How is our favor? 25. Prosperity, culture, peace. Okay. So, we just need the population, really. No basic educational facilities. Gotta wait for the... Education, schools... The schools are really not walking that way, huh? Let's build a school there, then. That will deal with that. Money's back in, thank you very much. We are selling oil, we are selling weapons. That will speed things up quite nicely. We have pottery there. These houses here are... No supplies of food. How did this market run out of food? It's right next to the farm. <laughs> okay, there we go. These granaries seem to have stabilized a little bit better as well. It would be safe to have another granary here. 
if I move the oil workshops to here, I could put one more granary right here and set this so it's got even more of a buffer, okay? These houses, so we just need furniture in. So if I just, now that money is in, we can actually, we're very close to winning, actually. If you don't realize, we're very close to winning. We're gonna import furniture. Some entertainment, but not enough, okay. With all this money, ooh, I just wanna plaza this whole area. How much would it cost? couple thousand let's let's wait <laughs> so we are selling oil this is okay off getting more oil pottery is hanging on food seems to be hanging on there's 400 units there which helps out this market I think yeah it does help out that market some entertainment but not enough we need more amphitheaters actually if I move this engineers post there we could fit an amphitheater here. Is that a fountain? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Amphitheater can go right there. That should help stabilize entertainment. And I think we just need sort of like a couple more markets. <laughs> Look at that, and we're starting to get medium, uh, what? Medium insulates, fantastic. That means furniture has come in, which means they're gonna start going for oil, which I don't know which place they're gonna go for, but if we plaza this up, we'll be able to evolve these houses. Plaza this whole road system, thank you very much. Don't miss any of it. That will get Everything evolved. Yes. And that will bring in a bunch of people. <laughs> I can't believe we did it. We did it. <laughs> so now we just have to get our culture going. Libraries? No problem. People are going to be moving in now. Let's go library, library, library. Got plenty of space here. Uh, library, we can have an extra road coming out this side for more services, plaza. We actually did it. We actually did it. What else What else do you guys want? Academies? Sure. We can actually fit an academy there. Academy's a little trickier to fit, but we could clear off some of these trees. We could clear off some of these around the Senate. Academy. And also, just to make things nice, I will start, like gardening up a few of these gaps okay that looks decent enough okay what else you want for culture culture rating hit too few theaters I don't know if our actor colony can take more theaters, but there we go. We'll put down one more theater and we're going to hit. We actually did it. We actually did it. <laughs> oh, we did it. I can't believe we could win this mission with this block design. I can't believe it actually worked. You can totally make a city that looks like this. It's an absolute pain, but we're at 4,000. We've got it with victory. It's victory! We did it! <laughs> I am never doing this again. I'm never doing this again, ever. I, this is horrible. Um, looks very pretty though, doesn't it? Looks very pretty. It looks... I love how it looks. But getting it to work... Let's accept promotion. Governor, that was a delicate performance.
Convincing the Greeks to relinquish their designs on Syracuse opens the whole Mediterranean to Rome's plans. And after that impressive performance, you will play a major part in them. Oh, that delicate performance. Delicate performance. Isn't that amazing? I love how he phrased that. It's a, it was such a delicate performance. Trying to get that block. Well, it's not even a block. A realistic city with roads just sprawling everywhere. It can actually work. Would you look that? Look at I draw line says delicate like a sledgehammer. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining. If you are watching on YouTube, you get to choose which mission you get to see next. You can see here the next peaceful mission is Miletus, a largely peaceful province with lots of fishing or the military campaign. Mediolanum, which is going to be a very dangerous province, one of the most militaristic missions there are. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining. I'll see you guys in the next video.